Right, hello YouTube. I have a problem for you guys today. I have I have this integral. Integral of x plus four over x squared plus two x plus five. So complete the square is required because you can't factor the denominator over any integers. So x squared plus two x is equal to negative four. We take half of b. If this is a, this is b, and this is c. Take half of b, which would be one, square it. One squared is also one, and add that to both sides. You have x squared plus two x plus one is equal to, and then negative four plus add one would be, this should actually be a five. Hold on, I wrote that wrong. Um, it becomes four after you subtract, after you add one. So right now, this is minus five. Then we add one to this side, add one to this side. Then you get negative four. X squared plus two x plus one. We can rewrite that as x squared plus one squared after we factor it. And then add four to both sides. This is gonna be, then right here, you're gonna have five. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite. I'm gonna rewrite this integral right here. Is integral x over x plus one squared plus uh, uh, one small mistake was a. This should be x plus one squared, and then this should be. Right now, this is minus 5, because I, I have to uh, add 1. And that should be 4. There we go. All right, over here, you get, if we bring, we can bring this 4. Uh, you're going to want to do a substitution in this problem. If you don't recognize it already, this part right here uh we can do a trig sub with that so we make u equal to x plus one and then we want our substitution to be the formula for a trig substitution is u is equal to a tan theta because we're going to use tangent because we have an x squared plus an a squared and our a squared is two squared so we do plug those in our u is x plus 1, and our a is 2 tan theta. Take the derivative x of derivative with respect to x. x plus 1 is dx. And then over here, it's going to be 2 secant squared theta d theta. Um, since we're already here, we want to take the second one and we want to solve for theta. So theta, all we have to do is divide by two and take tangent inverse. So when we do that, we have tangent inverse of x plus one over two. Okay, um, so far, Everything looks good. Then you can draw draw a triangle so you, to visualize why we used it, why we used the substitution. Because if this is um, this is tangent inverse, so it's adjacent over opposite. Our adjacent, if we draw theta here, is right here. And this is going to be x plus 1. And this is going to be, uh, don't forget the squared x plus 1 squared, and this is going to be 2 squared. That means this side right here is... That means this side right here is uh, x plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. Okay, let me zoom out a tiny bit and come over to here. All right. 
So the other one, when we when we do this part, we want to take a four right here, and we want to take one away from it. So this side is going to keep plus one, and we want to do that because we are, if we can, that means we'll be able to plug u in for x plus one squared. This u right here, we'll be able to plug it in here also. And I think you kind of have to do that to do this problem because if you don't, you won't be able to, there's nothing you'll be able to plug in for, for uh, the X on top if you try trig sub. So is this gonna be, this that would be X plus one denominator. Same denominators wrote them separate because uh, it makes it, it makes it doing it easier let me put dx here For the first integral, we just plug in u. So that gives us u over u squared plus 2 squared. And then if we plug in for dx, dx is going to give us 2 secant squared theta d theta. dx. Oh, we could actually do that here. du is equal to dx, and then we're just gonna have du, and then we have three integral one over u squared plus two squared du. All right. I'm gonna draw a dividing line right here. I'm going to finish the rest of the problem on the right side. So by the time you get to this part, you can use a regular substitution. So if we make, if we make u equal to the denominator, so I'm going to use a different, I'm going to use a different variable. I'm going to use t now. t is equal to, let's set equal to the denominator. Because when we do, when we do that, that gives us dt is equal to two u du, and you see u du right here. So all we have to do now is do dt over two is equal to u du, and then we can do that substitution right there. S similarly, uh, we could also you can't use this on the second one because you don't have a u, but there's still another way to do it. I'm gonna switch color because I've been using black for a while use purple okay so for the first part we can evaluate that now that's going to be half 1 over 2 integral and then we can plug dt in over and then the u squared plus 2 squared that was our t uh, I didn't evaluate that all the way but that'll be ln Whenever you have one over a variable, that's when you use ln. And then for the for this one, uh, this is you could use this formula that we've seen before. I'm gonna write it on the bottom part right here. Whenever you have the integral of one over one plus not one x squared plus a squared. I'm going to write this more neatly. Whenever you have x squared plus a squared, that, that always comes out to 1 over a. t 
tan inverse x over a plus c. And you see we have 1 over u squared plus 2 squared. So we can use that formula. So we can evaluate, evaluate uh, this one right away. So this becomes a. We have the 3, and our a is equal to 2 squared. So that's going to be 3 over 2. 3 over 2 tangent inverse of x, which is just, in this case, it's just u. So it's going to be u over a, which is a is 2 plus c. Okay. I'm going to clear up a little bit of space around that, around there. Select. Okay, let me get rid of this part. All right. So now we have one half and then ln of t. This will be ln t, but t was a, was a substitution we used when we did. Uh, I think I erased it already. Let me go, let me go back and see if I can find it. All right here, t was equal to u squared plus 2 squared, and u was equal to x plus 1 squared. So that means we have 1 half of ln of t, t is u squared plus 2 squared, and the u inside there is x plus 1. So that's going to be ln of x plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. Okay, that's it for that part. And then the next integral, uh, we've already evaluated. We just have to plug u back in. And let me zoom out. I'm gonna zoom out a tiny bit, like quarter of an inch. All right. Let me see if I can do this the way I want. Okay, so then this is a 3 over 2. Everything stays the same except for the u inside. We're just plucking in what we used for u. And that's just x plus 1 over 2 plus c. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.